creation is heaven. Amen. Amen. The good news, my brothers or my friends, heaven is a free gift. And Filipinos like free. I like free. That's why he said, there are so many Filipinos in heaven because heaven is free. That's the good news. No such effort, no such hard work will earn us a place in heaven. That's the good news. But there is bad news. Because the requirement of getting to heaven is perfection. God said, if you want to go to heaven, be perfect. We cannot do that. Right? Because we are sinners. We are pointing fingers. You, you are the sinner. You are the sinner. But you are not annoyingly three fingers pointing to you. So we are all sinners and we cannot enter the free gift of heaven. Right? That's why that bad news become good news again. Same God that will punish the sin. Same God that is so loving. In John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. 2,000 years ago, my friend, in the mountain of Calvary, there is a great exchange happened. Happened on the cross between sun and sin. This is your sin. This is us. Or originally, and according to study, sin usually came from the, our desire. That's why, what's the center of the word sin? I. Usually sin comes from I, myself, me, right? But 2,000 years ago, there's a great exchange, sun and sin. God solved the problem, okay, I will send myself through the form of Jesus Christ, which is God. I will send to pay the penalty of our sin. The good news, our sin in the past, in the present, in the future will be forgiven or been paid already. One word that Jesus Christ said before he died on the cross in Arabic said, Kalas. I don't know, you know Arabic. Yes. Yeah, Kalas, right? Kalas. Kalas. Done. Done. It is finished. So that's the good news. Our debts, our sins has been forgiven. What we can do is to believe. Said here, believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, to get this free of gift, free gift of heaven, no effort, no hard work, just believe. Just believe what happened in the cross 2,000 years ago, that one man, the name Jesus Christ, which God, died for our sins, for the forgiveness of our sins that we are about to suffer, what we are about to, to, to get. But God is so faithful, God is so just. He gave His only Son. So that's the great exchange. So if you want to receive your final ship's victory, which is in heaven, or called eternal life, just believe. The Bible said, Acts 16, 31, says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. That's a good news, right? So have faith in Jesus. Believe what he had done on the cross. He died for the penalty of our sins. But the good news is, he didn't remain dead. On the third day, he rose up again. That's why the cross is empty. And right now, he is in heaven, preparing a place to each and every one of us. That's amazing, right? My brothers and sisters, friends, trust everything to Jesus. Do not be the captain of your ship. Transfer the ownership, transfer the, the pilot to the Lord Jesus Christ. And invite Him to your life. Open the door of your hearts and receive Him as your personal Savior and Lord of your life. Very simple. Just the letter, the alphabet letter, the, the four letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D. First, this is admit. That you are a sinner. Acknowledge that you need a savior. You cannot save yourself. B. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. What had happened in the cross. He died for your sin. And the third day he rise up again. And right now in heaven preparing a place for us. And let us see.
confess in your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and Jesus is the personal Savior of your life. And deep, dedicate your life to Jesus. Pray, read the Bible, attend a church gathering like this and change your lifestyle and change your mindset. If you want to do that, you can do it at your home. And if you want to do that, you can do that anytime. Anytime. You can